This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. So you've been told that you had to create some type of artwork using Desmos. How do you do it? Well, first of all, if you go to a search engine and type in Desmos art, and you should see where it says Desmos Creative Art, click on that, you'll see some examples. You can see here's Groot, Guardians of the Galaxy, Groot. Uh, let's see, what else did I notice? Here's one of the dwarves, Millennium Falcon, Star Wars. This is a bridge from England. And anyway, you could see all the different examples of drawings. There's a Jeep over there, a violin, Winnie the Pooh. So you can see that you're only limited by your artistic thoughts and your mathematical ability. So how do you do this? Well, you go to desmos.com and you click on the start graphing. So here's the artwork that I chose to make which is not really good but it could demonstrate the possibilities that are available with Desmos. Like for instance I wanted to give this character some hair and so what I came up with was this equation um, which is going to be a sinusoid 0 0.1 sine 8x now you could see that this function goes you know, left forever and right forever, so I want to limit its domain. So I want this to go from negative 2 to 2. Get my cursor out of the way. And you can see that it does a really good job of doing that. And I also want to give this thing some color. So if you hold down on the color, you could give it whatever color you'd like. I'm going to give this guy red hair. Oops. It's okay, you got an undo button. And there you go. You can see he's got some hair. Um, I also wanted to make his hair a little bit more interesting, so I decided to create another layer of hair. And I'm just making it pretty much the same. Um, I'm just changing the height. You can see that I just changed the height. So I'm going from negative 2, also less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 2. So it looks pretty much the same. Of course I want to give this the same color so I'm going to hold this down. I'm going to make it red. Okay, so you can see that this person does have red wavy hair. Um, another thing I was messing around with was um, animation. Like here, um, let's see, I didn't, I didn't do anything with this yet. Oh yeah, wait a minute. I did something with the eyebrows. I wanted the eyebrows to move to give this person some uh, you know, facial changes. And then I thought, well, why not also change the eyes? So if I was going to change the eyes, I said, well, why don't I also change it by the same amount and put that there? Oops, it was W, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, and so I wanted to change that. Um, and so now, when I change this, I can get the eyes to change a little bit. So what am I doing is I'm changing the values that are underneath the y, the y squared term. So that's actually changing the um, height of the ellipse. Okay, so it's doing that. And then if you change the um, eyebrows at the same time, you can see a definitely a lot of inflection that's happening there. So next I wanted to change the mouth. The mouth looks goofy, so I said, well, let's change it. So this coefficient is going to change, and you can see that I could also tie together the eyebrows and the mouth very carefully. by being, When it's smiling, the eyebrows go down on the outside, and then when the person frowns, the eyebrows go up to give them anger and surprise at the same time. So you can really make your character give some um, personality. So I wanted to give this character some arms, not just shoulders and an outward arm. I also wanted to see the uh, arm here hitting the side of the body. So I have to create a vertical line. And let's see, I want the vertical line to be right here at negative 3. And I want this to go from 0 up to 1. So 0 less than x, less than 1. Okay, so you do that, 
I should get, oops, not X, no wonder why it's not showing me, it's Y. I want to change the, the range. Okay, and I want to give it the same color. So I'm going to hold this down. Well, it's not cooperating. There you go. Give it orange, like an orange shirt. And I'll create another one too. So at X equals 3, I want this to go from 0, less than Y, less than 1. And again, I'll change the color to an orange. So you could see that you could change the range. Those would be the Y values. And then I also have things over here where I changed, um, like this over here, I changed the uh, domain by using X's. So there you have it. So now you have an idea how to draw some object, and I'm sure you could do a much better job than mine, um, by using Desmos. So go ahead and do that.